Hiya, Timberborn. Let's get started. New game, folktales, and we will pick lakes. Go. Oh, and we'll go hard mode. Go. What are we gonna call our colonies? Let's call our pet col our colony uh, brown beavers. There we go, and we'll pause. And how do I move? There we go. I haven't played this since well before the last update. So I'm not exactly sure how everything's going to go. And I'm not sure if I played this map before. I don't think I have. Where is the water source? This is where the water exits. Now this is where it comes in. And it exits over here. So um, the water flows down this way. I can work with that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get some food. And we'll need a gathering post. And we'll put the gather... Where am I going to put the gathering post? Put the gathering post... Um, okay, different games. That's the wrong button. There we go, R. And then we'll put this right here to cover everything. Then we need a uh, wood chopping lot, which will be in this one. Nope. Here, and we'll put it... I want to be able to collect that later on. So we'll just put it way down here first. And wrong button again. Too many video games. And now we want to plan out where water's gonna go. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're gonna, we're probably gonna uh, pull up everything that we're putting down in right now, later. So we'll just grab a water supply, like that. We'll put it down. Here. We'll put a road directly to that, and we'll also prioritize this, but it won't be prioritized because um, we need to cut down shit. And then we'll tell it to eat those trees. Go. And now we'll put in a second tree mining, our tree lumberjack thing right there. These don't cost any wood, so we're not going to lose any resources by... Um, doubling up there. Now I want to have a... Oops, no, not that one. A lumber uh, pile, and we'll put that right there for now. Connect it up. We'll also increase the number of people here. We're missing one, but that's fine. There, now we have water and we're not going to die. So the next thing I want to do is I want to build a field. That's not a field. This is a field. There we go. And this one I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I guess we're just going to be doing this for now. Uh, we don't need to start off this uh, with this high of a number, but I'm just going to put it down for now because I want my farm to be centrally located. Is that central? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's centrally located right there. Now let's cut it in half, which I totally planned. One. Oh, you can put more down here? Planks? See, I haven't, I haven't played in a long time, so we're going to choose wood. What else can I, I choose? Scrap metal, treated planks, planks, metal blocks, and dirt. Cool. What else have they, have they combined? An underground pile. Mmm. And a small pile. I'm glad I chose the big pile. Now, as that's going, I'm going to put in a small 
That is a very small warehouse. They've changed everything. How much can this fit? 30 and this is 200. So I don't think that's worth it. I'm just going to make the, the, uh, the larger one. And we're probably going to run out of wood in a quick second here. Now I need to stop uh, harvesting wood here. Because as long as there's a few trees, um, the trees will continue to spawn new trees. But if I chop everything down, then um, this forest won't renew. And now we're going to be moving our strip mining uh, facility up here. Right there. Is the Inventor Hut smaller? I thought it was three. I guess it's only two. Uh, the Inventor Hut, I'm going to put the priority way down. Hmm. So I can only store one thing at a time in these new warehouses. Hopefully they're still stackable. Now I'm going to pause the farmhouse, uh, just because there doesn't need to be anybody here to tend the field in its growth phase. It only needs to be tended uh, when it's being harvested or it's being planted. And we're already getting into a, a drought situation here. So let's pause the inventor. And uh, where is storage? We need some small tanks. Let's put the small tanks down here. Three should be enough for now. Yeah. Priority high, priority medium, and priority normal. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing these stockpiles aren't free anymore. Yeah, they require six wood. Oh, and I have to select what I want in there. Biofuel, catalyst, medicine, maple syrup, and water. Hmm, okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't seem to be gathering too much water here. Okay, so this forest up here is getting close to being strip mine but there's a lot of little trees and um, once we get rid of the big trees we'll just let the little trees sit down here we were a little less um, aggressive and our farm is very likely going to die that's that's probably a complete write off the farm okay let's um, remove all of these up to here We'll just grab these guys here. Just looking at this flow pattern, you can see it's a little bit circular here. Now, I'm not sure if that's deliberate or not, but it kind of tells me that there isn't very much outflow. I'm not sure if the game is that smart or not, but it could be. Okay, so the rest of these trees are going to be saved just so that we can, we'll have more trees in the future. And we will get rid of these gathering spots here. Oh, do those cost wood now too? They used to not. Oh, there might have just been six wood in them. Oh, because this might be full. No, it's not. Okay. So there's just wood in them. And now we're completely out of water. But, there's only two days left of the drought. These might survive. No, they won't. Yeah, they're not going to survive. These are all going to have to be replanted again. They're done. That was a, that was a complete waste of, of resources. And now I'm going to turn down how many hours they work because um, they consume and eat just a tiny bit less food and water. We'll also deconstruct this guy over here. And we'll reconstruct over here, but we'll put two down uh, just so that we can grab more water. Now it looks like everybody's hungry and we're probably dead by now because these are not going to regrow quickly enough and um, we completely whiffed it over here. Yep. They're all dying. It's very unlikely any of these are going to survive. Well, 
also turn these back on. Have we gotten a die off yet? I'm not sure. You coming? We'll put some dams down here and maybe we can reach these uh these few berry bushes in time. I doubt it. Uh, I'll also increase the working hours back up to uh, let's go 12. We'll give them more rest time. Oh, we're utterly screwed. So we're only at two days on this farm and um, the drought is already coming in. So we were actually it doesn't matter because all of the um, well the beavers are dead. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is name our beavers. So we're going to call them Wino. We known as big brown beavers. So our tribe is Winona's big brown beavers. And we may wave them up in the air. So I first want to do this, and then come over here, come over here. Let's go straight from the door out. There we go. Do that. Now we'll put down our first lumberjack flags here. And over here. That's the first things we want to do. And then we're going to build water pumps here. Yeah. That's not cool. Okay, we'll just have the first one here. And even though it's probably a super bad idea, we'll get rid of everything down this line here. Oh, and we also need to have a gathering post right here. And then we'll put this up to maximum priority and the workplace priority will also be maximum. We also need to choose what we're gonna harvest. So we're gonna harvest all of this stuff and all of this stuff right here. There, now we have access to um, some water. We'll need to make some storage for that water. And storage has changed quite a bit since the last time I played. So uh, I'll need three storage here. Let's go maximum for this one and then second down for this one. Because we are on hard mode and droughts can come in like completely unexpectedly. And I'll build a medium sized pile. No, I will build a medium sized warehouse. Uh, no, uh, small warehouse is 30. So I'm gonna put a small warehouse right here. And we will store berries because uh, we need to put these berries somewhere. Now I'm wondering if I want to risk some crops. Because unfortunately, drought could sneak up very quickly on us. Yeah, the only thing that's quick is the carrots. So we'll make some carrots. Now these take four days to um, grow to full maturity. So we just need to stave drought off for four days. That might not happen. Now I'm also going to make a large pile over here. And that will be for our wood. And we're kind of fucked. So in three days, um, there's going to be a drought. Ooh, but these are at 50%. We might be able to bring these in. I wonder how many's here. Okay, we'll prioritize harvesting. 
and I'm not sure if I want to put down a warehouse or not. We might make it. We might get these in. Okay, I'm going to put down a warehouse. Okay, so for this side, we're getting um, light on trees. So we're going to stop harvesting here so that these trees can then spontaneously spawn more trees around them. Uh, can you not do that? Okay, whatever. Oh, we're only at 75% and we're 1.8, we're 0 0.8 days, so... Oh, this may not work. We may, we may lose this crop. Oh, here's, it's coming in. Just as long as it matures before the um, water completely dries up, uh, we'll be okay. Because once the water dries up, it can't mature any longer. Okay, it's all matured, so... Um, as long as we get to it within two days, it'll be fine. Little carrot boxes in there. Cool. Do these have little blueberry boxes? Yeah, hey, little blueberry boxes. Now, if they don't finish this by nightfall, I don't think it's going to get to nightfall. Yeah, they're not going to. They're not going to get to it in time. Let's increase. Let's have them work 24 hours a day. Let's see if we can grab these last two. Come on. There you go. Okay, we've made it through that first drought. Everything's sunshine and rainbows. Let's rejigger our farm a bit. And we'll make it this big, which is probably too big for us to handle right now. But uh, I don't care. I'm just going to make sure that this is square. And it is. But what we need to do is we need to make another road that way. We'll build another farm over here. And then we'll move this farm down over here. Although I don't think this farm, I don't think this area here will actually grow anything. Okay, now that we have this kind of uh, roughed in, uh, we'll put a path there. There we go. And I'm going to build a second water plant. Now we absolutely need homes for our people at this point, so I'm just going to put in just standard housing. So that'll give us 18 beavers. No! How did I boost up? Oh, shelter. Uh, and somebody's got broken teeth. Uh, but I don't have that do I have that? Well, being... Oh, yeah, I've got a tooth grinder. So let's put the tooth grinder... Uh... Mm. Let's put it right here in this dead zone. Okay, now that all 18 houses are built, uh, this means that my population will grow. They'll actually have children now. I kind of want to see if I can get... I would really like a levy, but we'll just go with a dam for now. Cross here. That may not build because it's not connected to anything, but I can. Oh no, it is going to build, so that's fine. Just as long as this builds, I don't need the path. I can wait until these trees grow up to cut them down so that the path can continue uh, out over here. Okay, so the drought's going to happen in three days, but all of this, um, all of these carrots are in really good condition, um, are in a really good place. So I'm going to, I'm going to set them to harvest so that they won't plant. And how much room do I have in here? I got room for 200 carrots, so we should be uh, really great on uh, getting everything uh, pulled in right here. Uh, this path down here is still not super concerning. We just need that done in the next few years, next few cycles. Also over here, I'm going to start selectively um, choosing which trees I'm going to cut. 
So, and we'll just cut the adult trees. No, I don't want that one. And leave a bunch sitting behind so that they'll drop, they'll, uh, they'll spawn new ones. And we're just not going to grab these guys uh, sitting in the in nowhereville here because there were a few over here but they matured and the beaver uh, grabbed them so they weren't able to spawn i'm not exactly sure what the spawning rules are we'll, we'll probably grab these over here too soon let's uh i'm not going to put a path here because i would like them to i would like these to cross over but who know who cares oh we've already got some harvesting going on so let's bring in uh some second people here. Put this up to medium. And everybody's hungry. We're pretty low on uh, resources. <sighs> okay, so we're, we're eating carrots. Okay. Holy shit. The, uh, the drought is going to last six and a half days. And I don't think we're going to make it. We don't have nearly enough resources for that. Unfortunately, we're losing a few carrots. I think once they're dried out, you don't get anything for them. Oh, no, I got some stuff for them. Okay. That was surprising. Nope, that's it. Okay, so we'll put the farms on pause. And when we start them up again, we will have have them set to uh, the planting. We're down to our last thing of water. And we still got three and a half days to go, so this is not going to be fun. And that's where I'm going to stop. Because, well, this makes a naturally good cliffhanger. And if Best of Both Worlds told us anything, cliffhangers are great. Will I die? Will I have to restart? You'll find out next time. That was really lame and I apologize. I left the failed start in the beginning, the first few minutes, because, well, it's good to look at that kind of stuff, to see what somebody did that didn't work. And if you look at both playthroughs, they seem almost identical. The speed could be a little off, the paths might have made the beavers a little bit faster, could have get lucky on the RNG, who knows? But it's good to look at the difference. Anyways, this video is a little shorter. I want to experiment with a little bit of a shorter video with uh, Timberborn just to see how that seems to work out. I don't know. I'm just experimenting here. My channel's not monetized, but I still want to be beloved. Please beloved me. I'm pitiful. Now the beaver once slipped for seven days and gave us all quite a fright. So I tickled chin and pinched cheek and the bass tried to bite.